Elon Musk announcing that the Twitter deal is on hold via Twitter, of course. In a tweet, Musk said, Twitter deals temporarily on hold pending details supporting calculation that spam fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of users. The Tesla CEO did follow that up saying, He's still committed to an acquisition. He did that a little bit later, though. So he let us all stew for a while and then said, I'm still committed to acquisition. But Twitter does need a dislike button for that first tweet. Shares of the company dipped following the news, and they're now off by some 11.5%. They're not down as much as they were initially, by the way, after he sent the first tweet. You know, <laughs> I liked your tweet to Elon. What was my tweet? Which one? If he's going to bring, if he tried, he's trying to bring the price down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this does seem like you know, there are so many things that that jumped into my brain following seeing that first tweet. And the first impression was that he is trying to jawbone the price downward by making it seem as though maybe he would walk away from the deal or maybe there's something sort of more nefarious going on at Twitter that they did come out with a filing several weeks ago, by the way. This is not fresh information right. saying that five percent of the accounts might be bots. Um, but he is now questioning that number. But that was the entirety of his pitch as well, is that he could save right. Twitter by monetizing it, by being able to eradicate the bots, by making sure that you're actually making that, making it possible to know that you're engaging with a real person on the other side of that NFT avatar that somebody may have on their account. And for all of those measures, he's got to know what he's basically taking on with this $44 billion deal, but by trying to get the price lower, I mean, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, quite frankly, but I think going forward from here, any type of Twitter movement that we do see, it's going to have continued impact on Tesla shares as well, as of course we know so much of the funding is really coming from his position, his stake that he has in Tesla to really front load this deal. Right on. Uh, look, Elon's right here. I spent some time digging into the Twitter annual report, and, and they do note that they performed an internal review of a sample of accounts to ultimately come to that 5% estimate of monthly daily active users. They did that in the fourth quarter. So he's right on that account. Uh, and then Twitter goes on to say, uh, in making this determination, we applied significant judgment to ultimately come to the conclusion that it's not more than 5%. Well, do you really tr trust Twitter? I mean, this has been a terrible terribly run company since the IPO. So Elon, I think, is right to question this. Why does he want a business with a lot more fake accounts that may not be able to make as much money you're as just, he's paying you're for? You're just baiting me this morning. First of all, you do your due diligence before you agree to buy a company, not after. Mm -hmm. That's well, you how have it to works. That's how it works. In a normal universe, that's how it works. In a normal universe, mm -hmm. you don't tweet about putting a deal on hold. You file it with the SEC. This is, again, Elon Musk doing things his own way with no regard for any consequences of any kind. What's wrong with it? He's putting his own money on the line well, first here. of all, he should have filed with the SEC. It's why? against securities law. Because yeah. he's saying he's put the, putting the acquisition on hold. What do you mean, why? That's the way it works. Do you think he's doing any of this intentionally now to, to basically put off the deal? Who the hell no, but he didn't no. say the deal was like, off. Who knows, right? So it's really interesting because you see him doing these things at what, uh, presumably if he's on the West Coast, mm. he's doing these things Maybe in the wee it's, hours, it's, it's, right? right. Six a.m. there now. Right. So uh, I don't, uh, to try to understand his motivations, I think is a fool's game. Yes, we can say he's trying to get the, the price down, that, that maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's just up late at night going through the numbers and just on a whim. To, I, but he is right. I have what no I could, idea. He is right. Whether the, the form that he did this is correct or not, I, I hear your point, Julie, but he is right to question this number. What type of calculations did they use to arrive at this 5% number? Is it really over 5%? It's something that you know he should get more clarity on. You know, the funny thing about all this is that he was tweeting just yesterday about politics and the decision to bring Trump back onto the platform, if that would happen. But he was actually talking about Biden and saying that his mistake is that he thinks he was elected to transform the country, but actually everyone just wanted less drama. That's also the case on Twitter. We just want less drama, especially when it's from the richest person in the world. Yeah, too. maybe he should apply that to himself. Exactly. Um, just one final note on how this the stock is trading. So Twitter is trading and has been trading as though people think the deal is not going to get done. So him doing this maybe pushes it a little further in that direction, but there was already this supposition on a lot of folk, uh, on part of a lot of folks in the market. Secondly, if you look at the Tesla reaction, mm -hmm. it's not just the American people who want less drama from politics. It's not maybe us as journalists, well, 
I mean, drama is good for us in some ways, let's admit it. <laughs> but Tesla shareholders want less drama too. They don't want Elon taking over Twitter. That is evidenced by what Tesla shares have been doing uh, since the Twitter deal was announced and what they're doing this morning and employees. on the thinking that may, and employees. And employees. How could this not Great be point. completely disheartening just to see this? How do you even go to work at Twitter? I know you're getting a big fat paycheck, but still, this is, has to be disheartening. You have options in this company, likely uh, very disheartening. Uh, but Julie, thank you for finally taking my bait. You've been very good the past few weeks not taking it. Thanks for taking on Well, you and I agree about the employees. Right. And, yeah. and Twitter's also said it's going to be cutting some employees, and a couple of high-profile people yesterday lost their jobs, which, again, is an odd thing to do if you're about to be taken over and someone's going to make come in and make their own changes. To your point, Tesla shares down 36% since his stake was announced. Yeah.